If you're a new subscriber, I'm Tara. If you're an old one, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys around my favorite Manhattan spots, three or four at least, to kind of just show you my favorite sweet treats. I'm gonna be focusing on kind of pastries and baked goods for this video. A lot more of this type of content to come. So I hope you enjoy going all over Manhattan for me, eating my favorite, favorite sweet treats. And hopefully if you're a visitor, you'll check out some of these spots too. First up is Upper East Side favorite, Maison Kaiser. Chocolat to uh, almonds to go. This is it. This is the almond pano chocolat. It was one of the first and nicest things that I ate in New York, and it's very, very nostalgic for me. A friend took me to Maison Kaiser, and we had, I think we split one. And it's one of those things, every time a visitor comes to visit me, especially in the Upper East Side, I always bring them to have one of these. It pretty much is what it says on the tin. It's a hybrid between an almond croissant and a pano chocolat and it's incredible. Look at that flaky goodness. These are the perfect combination between like a crispy, flaky outside and sort of like a, a gooey rich inside. Amazing, totally one for the sweet tooth lovers. Even if you don't like almond croissants, it just adds like the perfect gooey texture on the inside with the chocolate. Best enjoyed sitting in Central Park on a day off watching the sun go down. So I am in the upper Midtown area, kind of in between Central Park and Midtown, I guess, which is where it starts. Next stop is Momofuku Milk Bar. There's a couple of them around Manhattan. There's also one in Brooklyn. This Midtown one is really hard to spot. You'd nearly miss it, but it's amazing nonetheless. Actually, can I just take the birthday cake? Yeah, just one pack? Yeah, thank you. So I have found the perfect little haven full of my favorite mid-century chairs to eat my little treat at, away from the madness of Fifth Avenue. So I've got my treat. These are the Momofuku Milk Bar cake balls. This is what the cake balls look like. They're literally, they're way nicer than cake. Obviously Milk Bar sells cake too, but these, oh my God, they're like a condensed, extremely flavorful bite of cake. Like if you've got a piece of cake and crushed it down into these little balls to make them really dense. That's what these taste like. Mmm, so good. And also I think in the summer they do an amazing sort of like passion fruit one and it's delicious. Like I said, there's a bunch of milk bars from Momofuku here in New York. These are like the perfect size. They make for really great presents to take home. They don't take up much room and they're really cheap. Sun is setting, I have stopped down in Grand Central for my end of day treat. I'm heading to the Vanderbilt Urban Space. Really cool spot for lunch. It's kind of like a like a hipster food hall. It's really cool and do donuts happen to have a stand there. So we're heading there so I can show you guys one of the best donuts in town. Is setting I have the most beautiful view of Bryant Park. I went for the lemon buttermilk because I don't know I'm just not feeling the chocolatey vibes at the moment it's a bit too warm out but she recommended this one and I know it's going to be amazing. The texture of this donut it's so squishy. These are literally the moistest most flavorful donuts like usually something this thick wouldn't appeal to me but the flavor is so good that you will without a doubt be scoffing these down. Mm. Just off the cross town bus from the east side over to the west side heading to my next treat location which is Levan Cookies. So I'm here at Levan Bakery because they specialize in a load of different stuff but they're known for their amazing crispy on the outside, gooey on the inside, glob cookies. They literally look like they took the dough, fetched it in the oven and just let the magic happen. Here's my Levan cookie. It was only about $4, which is not bad at all. There was a little bit of a queue, but I didn't exactly go at the best time. But because most of the products are cookies anyway, the queue moves really quickly and it's totally worth it. And I'm about to show you why. Break this bad boy open. It's just so soft and gooey. Oh my God. If that isn't cookie porn to you guys, I don't know what is. Crispy on the outside, gooey on the inside the dream. Like I said, the bakery that I went to is on the west side, but there's also one in Harlem. If you are on the east side, it's really convenient to get to. I would recommend stopping at the west side bakery just because it's super close to the American Natural History Museum. So if you're a tourist and you're stopping by that museum, it's super close. It's on Amsterdam Avenue and 74th. 
I actually forgot how good these were. Like, look at all of that cookie. To me, a good Levant cookie is best enjoyed on a nearby brownstone. Those were my top three or four spots to pick up a beautiful little sweet treat if you're visiting the city. Totally recommend these places. I try to keep it to places where you wouldn't have to queue that much because if you're visiting New York, you don't wanna spend all your time in a stupid queue. So most of the places are fairly good to go on that front and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm doing a ton more of this New York foodie scene type content on my channel really soon. So don't forget to subscribe. See you all in the next one. Bye. <laughs>